I remember my dad waking me up early in the morning. Not just me, but my brothers as well. And trying to get us to school. I remember my dad spending some time with us on the dinner table. And while we had conversations together, I remember him sharing some stories. One of the stories I'm going to share here. He told us about an experience where he would read a textbook, memorize the textbook, and if he was asked a question, he would answer the question, and not just answer the question, he would tell you exactly what page the answer was in the textbook. We were surprised by that, and we wanted to work. We wanted to do hard work. We wanted to study. We wanted to be who we're supposed to be in life. We knew that if we were going to do this, it would all come with a lot of hard work. It was tough, you know, because I remember times when I lost some points on my exam, and, you know, I was so scared to go home because I was afraid my parents were going to be disappointed. But all this to say, in all this experience, now I am a machine learning artificial intelligence expert, and I focus on using machine learning and artificial intelligence to solve real world problems, complex problems. This I've done at Illumin with the AI Innovation Podcast, also as an avid you know, enthusiast you know, and financial literacy expert. This I've done also as an entrepreneur and as an active and avid uh, social good project worker. But this didn't come easy. It came with a lot of experiences. It came with certain situations and issues that happened in life. And these situations shaped, transformed, and redefined my trajectory. And this was a loss in the family, and also uh, a situation where I had to take care of certain members of the family as well. And so my conversation here is, how do we channel these losses? How do we channel these experiences and transform them into opportunities. It's all about making our life count. And I was determined to make a difference. To make a difference in life, we have to be willing to take the risk. My question is, what risk are we willing to take? Some people ask me, why do you do the things that you do? Well, the answer is very, very simple. Past experiences. My past experiences have shaped, have helped, and transformed the way I think about life in general. Watching breadwinners die in a family, and watching the family having to cater and care for, for themselves after the loss of this individual, all of these things, all of these situations have helped to transform and change me. And this is one of the reasons why I chose my project, my dissertation project, just a couple of months before my proposal defense to address these issues. What could I have done about it? There was nothing I could do about this situation. The dead was dead. They were gone. But I could take the experiences from this and figure out how to use my knowledge as a machine learning and artificial intelligence expert to transform and to change this situation. And how did I approach this? One, and this would also help you as well. One, do not ignore the problem. I had to accept that the problem was here to stay. But there was something I could do about it. You know, what would I do about it? And that was the question that I pondered over a couple of months, weeks, until I figured out the answer. So do not ignore the problem. Focus on the problem. Two, talk. Have conversations with people who have these experiences. I just didn't choose to stay and ponder over the issue, but how do I fix the issue if I do not engage with people who have experienced the issue before? And so I made a decision I was going to engage with people who had experienced the issue before. Three, time to change 
the situation. So I took the things I learned from the people that I engage with, plus the things that I learned from personal experiences, and the question is, how do I use machine learning and artificial intelligence to fix this problem? And four, I redefined my purpose. I knew that if I was going to make an impact in life, I was going to have to change my purpose. You cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. So I knew it was time to change my way of thinking. Thomas Edison, after 1,000 to 10,000 experiments, was able to do what he was able to do in life. Albert Einstein, with three years not being able to speak, was able to transform and change our, our lives as we, as we know today. Richard Branson, diagnosed with dyslexia, had bad reports, was able to change and transform the business landscape today. And I submit to you, Iyanu, even given all the experiences and losses, was able to take this and utilize it to transform lives. If I did it, you can. And though COVID has affected our lives in ways that we cannot imagine and continues to have ripple effects with the issues that we have still going on as it pertains to the disease, but I hope that these few points would help you to overcome challenges and turn those challenges into positivity. Thank you.